Hi, I'm Mark Coles, owner and founder of M10 Fitness. Uh, you're watching BodyPower.tv. Coming from a business orientated family, um, quality service and results it is something that was always drilled into me. Um, and I kind of noticed a flaw in the personal training industry as soon as I started. Um, that's not to say that I didn't have a place where I started off from, I didn't have a lot of knowledge, I certainly didn't know uh, a lot about programming and nutrition, but I knew that to better myself I had to learn a lot more, I had to commit myself for a period of time um, to be, I, I know that I was very inexperienced, but learn and study. So um, I very quickly developed what, what I see as a standard, and one of the reasons why I set up M10 was to uh, use my kind of uh, formula of success from a personal training perspective and use M10 as a platform and a voice within the fitness industry to get across what I think personal training should be. Um, I see too many people hire a personal trainer um, and they pay a lot of money for personal training and they don't get a fraction of what they're actually paying for. In fact, people don't know what they should expect. So I'll take you through a little bit of a list of what I think, uh, uh, as a bare minimum, a trainer should should uh, provide um, if you're paying for a service. Um, so first and foremost, from a, from a trainer's perspective, you must be assessed. You're, you must be asked, uh, and I believe how hard massively in, in questionnaires, you must be asked a basic level of, uh, of questions about your health, about your background, about your training experience, and you must be assessed. We're talking about body composition, this is what M10 do, um, this is what most people are looking for. So you must be assessed, you must have your body fat measured, you must have uh, photos taken, um, it, certainly if your results are based on how your body looks, you must have your weight taken, um, and this must be regularly updated all the time. Um, the information that you get from the assessment will lead on to uh, uh, having a program written for you. Now, too many clients are walking around gyms without a program. In fact, personal trainers are not working, walking around gyms without, with, with a program. You know, my guys here have pieces of paper or iPads or, you know, ways of recording their, the lift and, and, and the repetitions and the exercises. Uh, and and, and that, that's a massively important thing to me and something that I drum into the guys that programming um, and, and having a record of a logbook of what your, your client's doing allows you to see when they're ready to move on. And, and what goes in, in line with that also is that the program needs to be updated. So if they've done it for three or four weeks and you notice that the client's plateaued, um, I don't believe in moving a training program forward if um, the client's got bored. If you got bored, it's because you're not getting results. It's not in any way, shape or form to do with the fact that, um, you know, that you've got to have a new program just for the sake of having a new program. If it's working, I keep my clients on. Uh, there will come a point where you get stale and then you need to move on. Um, if body composition is the goal, which again, it always is, uh, especially with our clients, you must uh, have a nutritional plan. Now, I have a strong beliefs in tiers of nutritional plan. Nothing needs to be measured to a certain level, nothing needs to be uh, set down to the, to the tiniest of calories, but the simplest little idea of you must have a total of 350 grams of protein through the day, this is the types of fats, these are the type of uh, amount of meals you need to have, and it needs to be logged, and you need to see it each week to see that your client's being very, very consistent with the programming. Um, it, it, it's so important that you assess that against the results that you're seeing in the gym. 